Andre Ng, president of the House of Knives, joins us now to tell us about how to keep our knives sharp over the holidays and how important it is. Oh, I love this time of year, right? On. It's uh, when everyone celebrates, you get families together and you eat. Lots of eating, of course. So Lots of cooking. Absolutely. So sharpening is the biggest, tons of myths and misconceptions about what it's about. Well, I said to you before we came, when we were just chatting, that I'm not sure if I've ever sharpened my knives. No, it's something a lot of people don't think about, right? Yet you'd ask someone, have you ever sharpened your, your razor when you shave? People know if it's dull, right? Right. But people would seem to just kind of clog along with their knives. So the biggest thing we get in, in the store is people say, well, what, what should I use to sharpen my knives? And people don't understand there's what we call maintenance sharpeners to help keep your knife sharp. And then there's sharpening devices to resharpen a knife. Okay. So one of the first things is how do you know if your knife is dull? Yes. Right? Obviously if it's not cutting proficiently. But one of the easiest and simplest tests we use is just if you've got a Sharpie pen or any kind of mm -hmm. big pen at home, angle it about 30 degrees. And if the knife is sharp, you can test different parts of blade, it will stick. If you have a dull knife, right? It, it'll just slide it'll right slide down. slide right down. Right. Okay. So it's important that uh, you do both. So if you don't, you, if you're not lucky enough this Christmas to get a brand new set of knives or razor sharp, I'll show you how to maintain them. So okay. the easiest way to help keep them sharp is using a device called a steel. So these are made up of several different uh, materials. I have one of these, but I have not used it <laughs> recently. When we do knife skills classes, we say how many people have this, and half the hands go up, and we say how many people know how to use them. Ninety percent right. hands exactly. go down. Exactly. That's so me. they come in chromium, ceramic now, or diamond. So the premise is still the same regardless of which one you're using. So have you ever used your steel before? No, no, Andre, I haven't. No? I'm okay. ashamed to say I'm sharing this. All right. Yeah. So most people's reference, they watch a chef or a butcher on TV, right? Yes. They're doing this, right? You don't know what the heck's going no. on when you see that. So the easiest and safest way to do it, we tell people, is hold your steel vertically upright. Okay. And angle is everything. If you get the incorrect angle, you can give it a try. Okay. So that being 90 degrees, 45, half that's 22 and a half. You want about 15 to 20. That's where most knife factory edges are set at. Okay. And you want to start right from the heel of the blade and draw down side, down to the tip on one side. Oh, so and you're kind of doing the side and the edge, I see. Yeah. Okay. So the biggest mistake people make is they give it too much angle and you actually dull the knife. Oh, okay. You but do it as if you're taking a slice out of the steel, essentially, okay. that type of motion. Cool. So it's important to do that every day is great, but at least once a every week. Every day? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm a little behind schedule then. <laughs> at least once a week. Okay. So people should get their knives uh, tuned up, I'd say, every you know six to 12 months, depending on the quality of the steel of the knives. Right. right. So when you can no longer keep your knife sharp or they don't you know, respond to steel, then you need something more abrasive, what we call a sharpening device. So they here. can be saved. There's not a they, point they where can be like, saved. Yeah. this knife is toast. Yeah. So every knife quality is different. That dictates how long it'll stay sharp. So when you go to more of a sharpening device, this is probably as old school as you get, sharpening stone. Okay. Oh, yes. But in today's day and age, everyone's, you know, has attention span of a goldfish. <laughs> if you don't have an app for it, no one wants to do it. So <laughs> sharpening stones are great, but you have to know how to use them. And we always tell people, what's your comfort level? Because it's a sliding scale of quality of edge to ease of use and the two move like this so okay. it's hard to find a balance so if you know how to use a stone they're great but angles everything that's why we sell a lot of even basic devices like this that help clamp onto a knife and help set your edge to give you an idea of the correct angle oh, okay because if you can do more harm than good then for the hunters or fishermen out there we have great portable little sharpening devices people can take in their tackle box with them you see here it says 20 degree guide and you basically hold your knife there and move it along the diamond pad and that sets the angle for you as well and then for the home use, by far the most popular category is what we call a pull-through device. This is kind of sharpening for dummies, right? Okay, that's what I you, mean. That's, that's <laughs> you basically my device. just hold it straight, put the knife straight, and you draw it through. And it doesn't do as good quality results as some of the other devices, but it's, it works. But it's pretty good. Right? And you just pull it through once? Uh, multiple times. Well, depends on how dull, dull your, your knife is. Are. Okay. Exactly. I'm so catching on. This one's very unique because you can interchange cartridges and dictate how sharp you want your knife. So oh. just like your son who plays hockey, yes. when you take your skates, get sharp, and they ask you what type of edge you want on them, right? Right. Because there's a balance between sharpness and durability. Yes. And the same with knives now. Now, the best balance of all the different devices that we're selling now are the electrics now. And they give you that best happy medium for performance and ease of use. So, you know, the Chef's Choice Hybrid 220, unparalleled for only $60 retail now. This has an electric uh, uh, stage one, and then you finish off manually. Then when you get into the more elaborate machines, these will sharpen faster and give you a better quality edge. And this is a, a Chef's Choice 15 degree angle. But uh, the finest of all of them now is this new one from WorkSharp. This is quite a machine. It, it's very unconventional for a sharpener 
but I'm going to show you how it works. Yes. What makes it very unusual and unique is it uses uh, an actual belt to do the sharpening, just like what they do in 95% of all the factories when the knives come from the edge. And it's also uh, all pre-programmed. It, it actually is like a little computer inside. But one of the things I'm going to show you here is when, when you turn it on, this knife I, I sharpened this morning on it, but you can dictate, it goes very slow as you can see here. So you can dictate the speed of it based on how it moves. So this one here just refines the edge. It does one side and then the other side. Because when you have a sharpening device, you don't want to overuse it. You shouldn't always have to go to real coarse stage every time. Right. So after we refine that edge, you would still use something like your steel to help hone it. All right. And I'm going to give that to you. Thank you, you Andrea. I'll, I'll practice this not in front nope. of people <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> in case I do something terrible. But great information. Thank you for coming okay. in today. Okay. Thanks for having okay. me.